Breaking new developments in the killing of Nipsey Hussle. You see that chaos right there? It broke out at a vigil to celebrate his life last night that was in Los Angeles. And now police have identified a suspect and they are asking the public for help finding him. ABC's Adrian Banker is there in LA. And Adrian, law enforcement, they told ABC News that the shooting appears to have been targeted and personal. Yes, Michael, very personal. Good morning to you. Police say that Nipsey Hussle and his killer somehow knew each other. Overnight, violence strikes again at a vigil for slain rapper Nipsey Hussle. A crowd of mourners was sent running for safety after reports of gunshots at the impromptu memorial. Police say 19 people were treated for injuries, mostly after getting trampled, but officers say no shots were fired. The chaos comes as police identify the man they say gunned down the Grammy-nominated artist. The LAPD claims 29-year-old Eric Holder walked up to three men outside the rapper's South LA clothing store and fired multiple times, injuring two of the men and killing Hustle. This news comes as music's most famous continue to pay tribute. Beyonce posted this photo of Hustle as a child on Instagram saying, I'm praying with every ounce of my heart for your family. Hustle, whose real name is Armias Ashkadom, grew up in the neighborhood where he was murdered. With admitted ties to gangs, he became a music phenom, entrepreneur, and community advocate. The goal is to create a bridge between the inner cities and Silicon Valley. On Monday, a meeting with the LAPD that Hustle requested to try and stop gang violence went on in his absence. He was so loyal to the community, but was the community genuinely loyal to him? And right now, we do know that we're still learning about the relationship between that suspected gunman and Nipsey Hussle. Police releasing a description of the getaway car the night of that shooting, or rather the afternoon of that shooting. A white four-door Chevy vehicle and a woman was behind the wheel. And we know that police are going to give us more information at a news conference this morning. But they're asking for the community's help for any details in this killing.